Kevin De Bruyne, the quiet, friendless, introverted persona non grata. Yes, you heard right. He's now Manchester City's Manchester City star, Kevin De Bruyne. He's been subjected to many of these accusations in his time. He was unwanted, cheated. Let's take a look at De Bruyne's life together. He was born on June 28, 1991 in Ghent, Belgium. He started playing soccer at the age of four in the Dranger team, close to where he was born. Introduced to soccer since he was a little boy. Unlike what we see in soccer, he's very quiet and uncommunicative. He was known to be, he didn't have many friends, his family situation. Unlike other soccer players, it wasn't too bad. He didn't come from poverty. That's how he he spent his childhood years when he turned 14. He was going to take an important step in his life, and he was going to take an important step in his life. With his determination, his ambition, his style of play, he transferred to Genk, the Genk Academy at the time. For footballers whose families were far away, for footballers whose families were far away, they found a foster family for the Belgian, who moved in with this family, Kevin De Bruyne. He goes to school in the morning. He leaves school and goes to training. In the evening, he would come back tired and fall asleep. He locked himself in his room. After a season of this, in the summer vacation, he went back to his own house. When he came home, he saw his mother crying and asked her what happened, and she said, Your foster family doesn't want you. You are withdrawn. You don't communicate with them. They don't want you anymore. That was the moment that changed Kevin De Bruyne's life. Kevin De Bruyne's life would change. It would be the first stage. After this conversation, De Bruyne ran out of the house and went to the place where he used to play ball as a child. He played ball for hours, in his head. He thought they didn't want him, and he promised himself that in two months, I'll be in the first team. No matter what happens, I'll be in the first team in two months, he told himself, and played ball there for hours. When he returned the next season, the club told him that they couldn't find him a new foster family. So he found a place to stay and continued training. In a game, they started as substitutes. In the second half, the manager brought De Bruyne on. De Bruyne, who kept thinking in his head that they didn't want him, scored five goals in the second half with that anger and that ambition, and he kept his promise. He was selected for the first team. This is going to be a bit like a movie, but then his foster parents who had kicked him out came back and asked him to come back to them. They lied about misunderstanding us, but De Bruyne refused, and that was the first step in shaping his life. That experience was the fuel for my career. During his two years at the academy, he was told that it was the loneliest time of his life. De Bruyne says that he had never been so lonely, but all he cared about was playing football. At the age of 19, he put his first national team jersey on his back. In 2008, De Bruyne made three appearances and played well enough, but the next season, he made 36 appearances and started to get into the starting 11 regularly. In the 2010-2011 season, he won his first cup with Genk. De Bruyne, who was one of the cornerstones of the team with his performance, attracted the attention of Chelsea and was transferred to Chelsea for 7 million euros, but Chelsea loaned him to Genk for one more season for his development. At the end of the season, his Genk career ended in a memorable way with 113 games, 17 goals, and 36 assists. Chelsea loaned him to Werder Bremen for the following season. Here too, De Bruyne's dreams came true with 10 goals and 9 assists in 34 games, but the season he returned to Chelsea. Not everything would be as he expected. His girlfriend cheated on him with his close friend Courtois, with his close friend Courtois, which made him even more withdrawn. De Bruyne made only 5 appearances and recorded only 1 assist. He was so withdrawn that no one was interested in him. When Mourinho called him to his room, the second turning point of his life, calling De Bruyne to his room, Mourinho took the papers in his hand. Hazard, 17 goals, 7 assists. Oscar, 11 goals, 6 assists. De Bruyne, 1 assist. Like the player. De Bruyne defended himself by saying they play more than me. Mourinho was right. Some of our players will leave at the end of the season. I can use you as the fifth choice, not the sixth. De Bruyne realized that he was not wanted, and he transferred to Wolfsburg for 20,000 euros. De Bruyne, who spent two successful seasons here, attracted the attention of English giant Manchester City with 20 goals and 35 assists. De Bruyne, 
who was named Bundesliga Player of the Year in the same season, transferred to Manchester City for 75,000 euros at the end of the season. Like the season he arrived, he made 34 appearances in 11 games, 16 goals and 12 assists. And he officially signaled that he would be the star of this team in the future. His great shots from afar, his hitting the ball with his whole body as if with all his nerves, his extraordinary intermediate passes, his perfect assists, his long passes, his team building, were the signs that he would be Manchester City's number one player. De Bruyne, who found himself more with Guardiola's arrival to the team, continues to surprise us every season. His goals, his assists, his team building are really unlike the old number 10s. He also embodies the qualities of the new number 10s. He's an incredible passer. It's really incredible that a boy who was unwanted and ostracized as a child can create legends in football. He's a football lover. He even explains himself this way. After suffering a knee injury, De Bruyne video calls his wife. He's crying on the phone and his wife asks him to turn it up to 10. What happened? Why are you crying? De Bruyne says, I'm injured. Now you have to take care of three babies. Then his wife says, you didn't cry at our wedding. You didn't cry when you had two kids. Now you're crying because you're injured? De Bruyne says, weddings, funerals, these things happen. But if you take soccer from me, I can't stand it. Well, guys, this is the end of our De Bruyne video. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Don't forget to turn on notifications and comment. If there are any shortcomings you see, you can indicate in the comments. Take care of yourself.